Now to continuing coverage on Deer and Company. The, uh, the, the continuing coverage is that there have been uh, more than 500 employees that have been laid off. The company has confirmed that to TV6 Investigates. Our TV6 investigative reporter, Matt Christensen, has been tracking this story over the last 24 hours, and he joins us now. Uh, thanks for joining us today, Matt. So uh, the layoffs are affecting the folks working at the uh, Harvester Works in East Moline as well as Davenport Works. That's right. These are some of the larger layoffs the Quad Cities has had in some time. But rounds of layoffs uh, at Deer aren't uncommon, yeah. uh, rehirings and, and layoffs. So I talked to one ag economist today who was able to put this into some per perspective. Yes, they're big, but they're not historically big necessarily. And that we have seen some very good times from deer over the past few years, and now we're seeing a pull back from that. So, Matt, from what you found, has this been a big surprise to the workers? Well, maybe not. Despite record profits, according to the company's last earnings report, Deer said it did plan to cut jobs this summer, mm -hmm. both salaried and production. And that comes as demand for its equipment is expected to fall. And it turns out some of those jobs are here in the Quad Cities, where workers produce Deer's top-of-the-line combines. Mm -hmm. uh, here's Hart again. You know, within the ag sector, and especially when you're talking about that large equipment, we're seeing a combination of not only sort of lower prices for the corn and soybeans that farmers would utilize that equipment for, but in general, ag incomes have declined over the last couple of years. So where do we go from here? What happens well, next? Well, the crop prices and the overall economy are going to have to improve before farmers feel comfortable buying some of those high-ticket items that deer mm -hmm. produces. Um, and, you know, when that happens remains to be seen. All right, Matt, thank you so much for breaking this down for us. And, of course, our TV6 Investigates team will continue to stay on top of this story, and we'll bring you more as we learn more.